I'm in my bird room where it's absolute chaos because it's pomon season. Yippee! enough. Okay, go on. Spring is the season where species of birds become hormonal. It's a typical mating and breeding season for most species of birds. In the wild, food sources are increasing, snow is melting, rain is increasing, which provides plenty of water. Birds become territorial and try to attract a mate and raise chicks. Pet birds become hormonal in the spring as the daylight hours increase. Artificial light can cause a surge in hormonal activity. Hormones can trigger some bizarre and undesirable behaviors, such as biting. Come on, we step up. I guess not. He's a good boy. Oh, nasty. Attacking or chasing away other birds, especially from their mate. Excessive chewing. Singing or screaming. Feather plucking. Nesting behaviors, trying to look for a place to make a nest. Finding materials to make a nest. Males will dance and strut to impress their mate. Females will lift their tails and make twittering sounds to entice their mate to mate with them. They may regurgitate on toys for purchase or their favorite objects or on their favorite person or just feed their mate even if they're not the same species. They can become aggressive, excitable, or they may prefer another family That's member. That's not nice. Marbles. That's not nice. No, it's not. Come on. Can we step up? It's not. Mm. Females will start chewing on their cuddle bone and seeking out other sources of calcium and protein. Yeah. 
And then there is masturbation or pleasuring themselves or just mating, ma mating an object. Nightshade likes mating his millet here. You know, birds will pick different objects. They will mate their perches, their toys, their food bowls, any, any objects that they see that they like, they will choose to mate with. Some birds try to mate with their humans, which it should be discouraged. Some birds will try to breed with any species. This is my turquoise parakeet and I was shocked to see my buddies trying to mate with her. But don't worry, they can't really produce any offspring and I'm watching them closely. To control their hormones, it's best to shorten the light that they receive. You can close you know, the curtains or the blinds, you can cover their cage and make sure that they get 10 to 12 hours of sleep. Distract your birds, especially if they're trying to mate with you or an object. Give them some mental jobs or some foraging toys. Let them out. Spend time with them on the play stand. Give them, you know, a shower. Just keep them busy so they're not just sitting there thinking about wanting to breed. Avoid foods that are high in fat or protein or warm, mushy foods as that encourages breeding. As you know, they're always regurgitation that's warm. They feed each other. So warm, mushy foods will be like regurgitation to them. It'll just get them excited and into the breeding mode and reduce uh, starchy foods such as, you know, bread to potatoes, uh, beans, nuts, cheese, or meat. Instead, offer them some vegetables and a small amount of fruits throughout their week along with their dry diet of pellets or seeds or a little bit of both. Remove anything that mimics a nest box. No bird snuggles, you know, boxes, no sleeping huts, no paper bags, no deep bowls, no boxes to play in. And avoid letting them go into your cupboards or any dark corners, you know, in your couch or in the corner of anything under your furniture. Just avoid all of that as it just gets them into the breeding mode and they'll get very hormonal and attack you if you try to get them out of there. So avoid that as much as you can. You want to be aware of how you pet your bird. You want to avoid petting the back, the tail, the wings, under the wings, the belly, as that stimulates their hormones and they want to breed as they think you're the mate. So it's best just to pet them around the head, you know, around the ears, on the cheeks, on the top of the head, around the beak and under the chin is fine. Just avoid going down the back, especially as that's just going to make them very excited. It's important to keep an eye on your female birds. Even if you only have one female bird, they can still want to make a family. They can still want to lay eggs and they will. A lot of females lay eggs. The eggs won't be fertile, of course, because they need the male to fertilize them. So just keep an eye on them as they can lay eggs chronically and they can also get egg bound. So if you just have the one female, you can still shorten the daylight hours for them so they won't want to lay eggs. And you can also replace the eggs with dummy eggs and just let them lay on them until they tire of laying on the eggs. And the females will be a more, uh, they will bite more <laughs> when they're hormonal. Females can be quite nasty when they're hormonal and they'll chew a lot. They'll chew everything they see. So just keep an eye, especially on your female birds. If your bird becomes a chronic egg layer, you can get help from your avian vet. They can do Lupron injections or even spay your bird, but I believe it's for the bigger birds. And there's actually implants that can help with the hormones as well. So speak to your avian vet if your bird becomes a chronic egg layer.
If you found my video helpful, please share with your bird-loving friends.